to another weekly vlog. You're getting a bit of a sneak peek at the moment, but I am in the new apartment. I moved in on Thursday evening. It is now Sunday. And I thought I'd start this vlog a little bit earlier this week because today is the first day that I have to start redecorating and kitting out the apartment. And I thought I'd bring you along for that because I know I love these kind of vlogs. It is a furnished apartment as in, you know, we've got sofas, we've got a bed, we've got kitchen appliances but it's missing a lot of the small furnishings. For example, I only realized today that I don't have a chopping board. So there are a few things that I still need to get for it. I don't know if I mentioned this in previous vlogs or not, but it is a sublet that we're subletting for six months, which is why it is partially furnished and we're also subletting it from a slightly older guy, which is definitely reflected in the way that it's decorated but I think with a few switches, like switching out the print, switching out the bedding, maybe rearranging the furniture a bit, we can make it feel a bit more modern and a bit more like our own. So as you first walk in, we have the kitchen, a very decent sized kitchen, and I'm excited to have a full size fridge again after three months of having a mini fridge. We also have a dishwasher in this apartment, which is a lovely addition. There's kind of like this half wall here, and if you walk around it, this is the main living area. So quite spacious, very open plan, which I love. We've got this big sofa here, which is very comfy, a very nice sofa, but I don't love the color of it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get some pillows, maybe a throw to sort of update it a bit. We've also got a desk, which I think Sid is very happy about because obviously he works from home. Although I'm not 100% about the placement, of this desk. There are a few things in here that I might rearrange. For example, around here, we have a TV and a TV unit, but I think I would prefer this to be in front of the sofa over here and maybe moving that chair over there as well. Because if I did that, then I could have this area as a little dining area because this apartment doesn't have a dining table, which I personally think is a bit strange. I feel like that's kind of an essential piece of furniture. So I might look at getting one and then maybe putting it here. But I think the reason that the furniture is laid out this way is because he didn't want to block the view because this apartment has the most insane view over Sydney. We've got lots of big windows, which lets in a lot of lights. We can also see the sunset. And from this window, you can actually see all the way out over to Harbour Bridge. There's a lovely balcony as well, which you can sit on, which wraps around. And then through here, we have the bathroom. Pretty standard bathroom with a nice big mirror and a sink space here. One thing that I definitely wanna buy is some sort of organization for this countertop because currently all of my stuff is just out. And even though we've got these cupboards underneath the sink, they're just big open cupboards. There's no dividers or anything. So I think some organization is definitely needed in here. We've got a shower bath situation and we've also got internal laundry in this apartment, which is great because that's actually not the norm for Sydney. Most of the time you'll have communal laundry in the apartment block, which is what we had in our last apartment. Then if we go around here, we have the bedroom. This is the room that I probably wanna redecorate the most because it's a bit outdated. I don't love this bedding, so I'm definitely gonna get my own duvet cover. And I also wanna swap this print out because I'm sure it's a great film, <laughs> but I just don't love it above the bed. But apart from that, it's a great bedroom. We've got these big built-in wardrobes as well with mirrors, which is nice. So my plan for today is to actually head back to Bondi. I had such a nice time actually when I was staying in Bondi with Freya and it really changed my perspective of the place because it's not that I didn't like it, but I never really got the Bondi hype. I never really got why everyone was so insistent on living there. But after spending four days living there, 
I do get it more. It's got a lovely vibe. And when I was there last week, we went to the Sunday market on the Bondi front. And we met this guy who is 17 years old and does all of this amazing photography of Sydney. And I loved his work and said to him, I'm moving into a new apartment. I'm definitely gonna be back to get some prints. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today because as I pointed out in the tour, there are a few prints that I wanna change and I would love to support, you know, local businesses, I guess, doing that. So I'm gonna head off, grab a coffee, go to that market, and then whilst I'm in Bondi, I also might go to Bondi Junction because there's some great homeware stores there. For example, they have Kmart, which I discovered recently. I don't really know how to describe Kmart. It's kind of like a mix of the range, Poundland and Ikea, all in one. Essentially, they just do really affordable home furnishings, clothes, that kind of thing. And they're great for getting essentials like a chopping board and stuff for the kitchen, storage for the bathroom. a lot of shopping <laughs> this was actually a bit of a nightmare to get back from bondi but i've got a lot of useful stuff so i thought i'd give you a haul firstly the star of the show i got three prints from the photographer that i was talking about earlier his business is called sandy skies and i think he's at bondi market every sunday so if you need some prints then check him out because I got these three and look how stunning they are. He said they're all of Bondi and I thought they just went together really well as a trio. There's three frames over there that are all A4 that I want to replace and I just thought these looked really nice together and they have that sort of beachy feel that I want to give to this apartment. Then I went to Kmart and got a clothes horse or a clothes era. That's what it says on the label. This is all fairly boring stuff, to be honest. I got a bathroom bin, a set of three mixing bowls, some of these grippy hangers to hang trousers up, then some bathroom organization. So this is like a three tiered thing that would save a lot of space on the countertop and allow me to organize my skincare. This was the only wooden chopping board that they had, so I picked this up. I got a glass food container. Definitely need to get a few more of these, but I didn't have that many hands to carry things. A big measuring jug and another set of bathroom storage. I thought I could use this for under the sink.
it is Monday today. I need to remember that I'm like a day ahead, otherwise I'll keep getting all my days wrong. But it is currently almost two o'clock. This morning I had a real reset, sorting myself out type of morning because yesterday evening I started to feel really weird, just like really down for no reason and kind of sluggish feeling. And I realized that I think it's because I haven't had a proper routine for the last week because I've been staying at Freya's and I've been moving and then I've been setting up the new flat. So I've really been slacking on looking after myself. But this morning I went back to my favorite Pilates class on a Monday. I went to the supermarket to stock up on some stuff for the fridge. I ran a few errands, went to the post office, did some paperwork that we needed to do for the flat. And now I'm feeling so much better and so much more like myself again. I also realized that I hadn't seen anybody <laughs> all weekend. I hadn't had any social interaction since the work event that I had on Friday. And I've now learned from these periods of time where Sid's been away and I've just been living on my own that I do need social interaction. A day on my own is fine, but as soon as it starts to get to three or four days on my own, I start going stir crazy. So this afternoon, I am off to meet my friend Anya. I'm going over to Manly to meet her. And I think we're just gonna go for a little walk and have a drink because the weather isn't amazing today. It's quite overcast. So unfortunately, can't go to the beach but it'll be nice to have a catch up with her and hopefully after a little bit of social interaction i will feel well and truly like myself again and sid is also back on wednesday so i'll also be living with someone again soon which i think helps It is Tuesday today and I've done a bit more shopping for the flat so I thought I'd show you what I got. Buying all of these small things is actually adding up to so much money and it's not something I necessarily thought I was gonna have to do. I thought getting a furnished flat and especially a sublet like this that somebody actually lives in would come with most of the stuff that we need but just every day I'm noting down things that we need. For example, I've had to buy a baking tray and like a little baking dish because I couldn't find any in the flat. And I mean, this is only like $5. This is only $5. So it's not the end of the world, but it does add up to quite a bit altogether. So yeah, I got these two from Woolies. And then I went to Kmart again and I got a laundry basket. This is just a fold up pop-up one. I got some more glass Tupperware. I've got this one and this one. I also found this really cute vase. It was just on its own in an aisle somewhere, not with the other vases, but I really liked the shape of it and the color. So I think that's gonna look really nice on this coffee table. And then I also got a hairdryer because in the last Airbnb, there was a hairdryer that was the owner's. So I was just using that. Whereas obviously now I don't have one, so I've had to buy this as well. But this was on sale in Maya and it wasn't too expensive at all. So once again, not the end of the world. I'm having another sorting my life out type day because the weather is pretty rubbish today. So I don't feel very motivated to go outside and I still feel like there's so much to sort in my life. I think this move, has just made me feel a bit all over the place and not really in tune with anything because the routine of my life has been disrupted. So I'm just trying to get back on top of it at the moment and 
look after myself in the process. So this morning I had kind of an everything shower, which I haven't done in a while, but always makes me feel so much more put together afterwards. And then this afternoon I need to edit a short form video that I filmed when I was in Bondi that I've been meaning to do for about a week now and haven't got round to. So I'm gonna do it this afternoon. And I also need to put a wash on and just do a few bits and bobs around the flat. just uploaded my little Bondi video onto TikTok and Instagram, which was the last thing I had to do on my to-do list today. And I feel so much better having done everything that I set out to do. Only thing I've got left to do actually is sort my nails out because I repainted them, but I just paint everywhere, <laughs> including the nails. So I need to clean that up. But yeah, I think a reset day or <laughs> a few days was exactly what I needed because Obviously moving apartments, moving into a new place is such an exciting time, but it can also be quite discombobulating. And I feel like I've been giving off a lot of negative energy in this vlog the past few days, but I just wanna be real about that because I've got so much to be grateful for and I am so grateful for it. You know, the new apartment is incredible, but at the same time, it has been quite up and down the last few days. I think as well, I'm just so ready for Sid to be back. I've been living on my own for almost two and a half weeks now and the novelty has kind of worn off. <laughs> but yeah, now that I've done everything I wanted to do, I'm gonna take some time to chill and then get an early night before work tomorrow. Who's back? Came back to a new apartment. How are you finding it? It's different, it's better. There's yeah, more definitely. Room to run around, so. How was your trip? It's good, thank you. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Wow, you're such a conversationalist. I know, you're <laughs> Whilst I was at work yesterday, Sid also rearranged the furniture to what I had in mind with the TV unit there, the desk there, and then opening up that space there to put a dining table. We've just got this chair there at the moment, and I don't really know where to put that when we do get a dining table, but it's fine for now. So yeah, let me know what you think. I feel like this setup definitely makes far more sense with the TV in front of the sofa. Just the only thing is, is it does block the view ever so slightly. But when you're standing up, you do still get a great view. I have had such a busy last few days at work actually, which is why I basically filmed nothing. On the Wednesday, I was out at a shoot. We were shooting a bubble tea brand, which was really fun. And then yesterday I was in the office and just doing loads of editing because we've had so many shoots recently and now I need to edit all the content for them. And then after work, I also went to a dinner last night as well. Two restaurants were collaborating for two nights only in Sydney. And one of them is our client, I'm pretty sure. So we went to get some social content and to show our support. And then today is gonna be another kind of catching up on admin, catching up with Sid, 
type day. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and if you did, make sure to subscribe for all of my upcoming ones. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.